Hello, welcome back to Great and Mighty TV where we share great news. So today we are going to be listening to Pastor Funke Felix Adejumo as she shares with us some wonderful nuggets that would help us to be better and to look better. Please, if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Every woman must learn to dress well. No man wants an old bride beside him. You must learn to dress well. I'm 51. I have jogged. I have jumped up 170 this morning before I had my bath. 170. I don't want to lose weight, but I must be smart. I'm too busy. I travel around the world preaching. I cannot afford to drag. I have four children. Four my eldest is 29. I told her I just became a, a grandmother. You must constantly fit your husband's palace. You must be smart and beautiful as a woman. You don't have to wear the same hairstyle for two months. Do you know that a research was done in the US and it was discovered that the male species likes variety. A cock was set up to have sex with a particular hen. After f five rounds, it couldn't go on. The same cock was set loose and it was able to make love to 15 hens. 15. So it was concluded that the male species likes variety. And because you are married, because you are believers, your husband cannot be jumping around. You don't want him to mess up and offend God. You as a woman must be different things to your husband at different times. Today it is low cut. Your style, your weak style. Next tomorrow it is long hair. Today it is a short dress. Next one it is just your pants. Saturday mornings, you look for some spaghetti. You are allowed to tempt your husband. You dress well. There's no old man anywhere. There's no old man anywhere. Say, My husband is old. He's still your husband. And you are still his bride. So, you must be smart. You must be good looking. Make up your face. Look good. For 10 years, I didn't wear jewelries. I didn't make up. I didn't do nothing. The first time I put on a tiny earring, my husband said to me, you look like a woman. <laughs> if you see my wedding picture, you will weep for my father. No makeup on my wedding day. No makeup, nothing. No powder, nothing. Because of religion. It's not spirituality, it is religion. It's a yoke on women. The devil just wants to frustrate us. I'm so sorry to say this. I'm a marriage counselor. My ears are full. In the counseling room, a lot of pastor's wives are in pains. A lot of married women are in pains. Religion is a terrible thing. I dress to please only three people. The almighty God, number one. Let God be pleased no matter who is offended. Number two is my husband. Number three, myself. Every other person is a noise of the markets. Noise of the markets. I wake up in the morning, I dress up, I look at the mirror and I like what I see. Then I step out. And I'm going to heaven. I've been born again 37 years. So don't be deceived by my lipstick, my red lipstick. It will be, red, it will be redder, quote and unquote. I told my children, when I'm old and I die and you're doing funeral for me, you put me in that cassette, put lipstick on me. I want to wear it to heaven. <laughs> put jewelries. Make me look good. Let me be smiling in heaven. Be smiling in heaven. A lot of men are frustrated today because the women look at, at 37, they look 67. Nobody wants an old bride around him. Nobody. A woman must learn to look good. You don't have to wear what they wear. You say, Who is looking at me? I have three children. And you look like a panel beating Volkswagen car. <laughs> Second hand. You must look good. You must look nice. When you are above 35 and all you do is put white powder, you don't know what you're doing as a woman. 
Even if you don't wear jewelry, you know, if you don't wear, you know, make it up. If, tie something, look good. You step out, your husband says, meet my wife. Mm. Meet the mother of my children. You know? So, you must be a different woman at different times. Have different wigs. Make different hairstyles. Have different dresses. Know what fits you. And be very, very presentable. My husband and I pastor over 5,000 people in Nigeria. Beautiful ladies are in our church. I cannot afford to play Ludo. <laughs> I cannot afford to play game. Some of them are not your well-wishers. They want you dead. So, as you are sound spiritually, you must also be sound physically. I said to some of them, if you think this seat will be vacant, you are joking. By the time my husband is ready for you, he'll be too useless, too old. I will have used the man, finish. <laughs> you must look good as a woman. Yes. You must look good. You must, you must look very... You can, be, you can be fat and smart. You can be nice. As a woman, your tummy should not be too big. Some of you, you eat too late. You wake up in the morning, meet by your microwave. No. Once you are above 40, please stop eating late. By seven, shut your mouth. If you must eat late, eat fruits. And drink a lot of water. Cancer is killing too many women. Just because they live passive lives. You won't jump up. You won't exercise. You won't do anything. You sit down before the computer day in, day out. And things are settling in your body. No, it's not right. You must be smart. You know? Your, your, your neck must be the same with your... <coughs> Put your skirt. Just the double. That's what it should be. This is too big. It should not be more than 27 inches for a woman. I have got four children. So you keep exercising because it has been discovered now that your waistline, the health of your waistline determines the health of your heart. And sometimes the devil is not the one that kills the person. They say, they say Tan, but just say, I don't even know your address. It's your mouth. You use your mouth to dig your grave. You can't eat. You must be disciplined. You can't eat everything. Everything. I was having breakfast today. But I took my glass of tomato juice. I took my cucumber. I looked at it. Oh, no, that one will add. No, that one will add. I wanted to eat it, but my health. The devil is not your well-wisher. So you must be wise to maintain your health. Same goes for the man. All these big tummies. For men, we've got to work on it too. It used, it used to be the sign of wealth. It's now a sign of... Um, I don't, so let's work on it. Husband and wife, let's talk together. Let's, let's, it, it binds us. It helps us.